Hey everyone, and welcome back to Gallery 710. And as you can see, we've taken the tile away. This is the video where we are going to completely remake this fireplace surround. Now, probably asking, what are we gonna use? Well, I think our choice is faux brick. Well, I say faux brick, it actually is brick. It's just sliced into really thin layers, put on a grid, kind of make it easier to lay over here. But we are gonna go through the process of transforming this fireplace. As you remember, we had this 12 by 12 tile that was surrounding it and we had painted it with a Rust-Oleum product that worked really well and gave us something to live with for quite a few years. It was durable, it held up well. You can check out those videos here if you're interested in doing something just quick and simple that doesn't involve removing tile or putting tile up. But with that, living with that for a while, we decided, you know what, let's completely revamp this. So with that, we're gonna use the brick. So let's get into it. All right, as you can see, we're right down here, right at the first corner. We're gonna start on this side of the fireplace. And what we did have to do initially is we have a baseboard piece running up into this corner. So I did have to notch this a little bit to make sure I could inset that brick far enough that it gets into this corner. It's very important because we wanna make sure that this is straight going all the way up to the top where it meets the mantle itself. So with that, I'm gonna take our first sheet of brick and I would a note of caution when handling this as you can see it's not heavy but it's not light but also these bricks can crack in half if you're not careful with them if you're just throwing them around they can break in half so to avoid that we try to be as careful as we can because so I'm going to take this first brick layer and I'm going to put it right up into this corner here just like that. I'm looking at my overlap and this blue tape, this edge of this blue tape represents that 18 inch line. So what I will do is I will put a mark here and a mark down there to uh, register for cutting. I get my marks for my cut and then we'll take it to the tile saw and cut it off. You can also see that there's gaps here. So the pieces that was off cuts, I'm going to use the bricks off of there to fill in here. Now what I'd like to do is get some of these cut prior to putting the thin set on. That way I can work ahead of myself. I'm gonna go ahead and at least get three of these rows cut. Let's do it. So we have finished at least cutting the initial tile, the brick web tile, for this side of the fireplace. We're going to work on this side and then head over to the other side. If I've done this math correctly, I should have the exact and even look on both sides. So the bricks that are cut here should be the exact uh, length as the bricks cut over there. So a good way to do that is just to take the bricks, lay them in front of your fireplace all the way across and just see how they line up. If you need to adjust left to right to make things work better, that's when you do it. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up the thin set. We're gonna start over here, start laying this, and hopefully we'll have this done. We have mixed up our thin set. We've mixed up just enough, I believe, to at least get it to here. I don't wanna mix everything up because I still have to cut tile. Don't wanna get ahead of myself and have this bucket start to dry out on me. This is a map a product we'll put a link in the description below so you can see what we use but we also have our notched trowel it's gonna be good it's perfect for the tile setting uh, we're gonna go ahead and start skimming it on troweling it off and laying some brick <laughs>
All right, guys, so we finished the brick. As you can see, it's all up here, and the only thing I didn't capture, which I'm kicking myself for, is grouting this because that was a process that would actually be kind of fun and enjoyable. It was like icing a cake, kind of maybe, but uh, in short, it was a simple, as simple as just mixing the grout in a Ziploc bag, really a gallon Ziploc bag, and using that kind of like a pastry bag and squeezing it within each one of these gaps between the brick and then wetting my finger and just packing it in to kind of make it look like it was laid like a traditional brick wall. And I think it came out pretty well. Now, we chose this white because, who knows, we might paint it. I don't know, we'll have to see, but um, it went up really well, really quickly, as you saw. Uh, I left it up here for two days to fully cure. As you can see in the video that we had some uh, pieces of wood that were used as supports to kind of hold this up here because we didn't want any of that sagging to happen with these bricks because they're all in that mesh and they can kind of float and move around on the thin set, but I think it turned out really great. Really appreciate you guys watching this. Stay tuned for more from Gallery 710 as we keep doing projects, reviews, DIYs, you name it. But until then, we'll catch you on the next one.